Look up into the night sky and you can clearly see the light from distant stars and galaxies visible to the naked eye. But aside from all the twinkling light, space beyond is dominated by empty darkness. This darkness is thought to curtail two valuable hypothetical forms of matter and energy that is rather abundant in the universe and has a strong influence on everything in it. This dark energy and dark matter may sound similar but are not directly related, which brings us to wonder about these concepts. Keep watching until the end of the video as we take a look at dark energy versus dark matter. What's the difference? The answers may blow your mind. Welcome to Space Infinity. Invisible Glue The visible universe in which we exist, including our planet, our sun, the stars and all the galaxies in it are all composed of protons, neurons and electrons, bundled together into atoms and therefore making all of it physical matter. One of the most intriguing discoveries of the 20th century is that normal matter only makes up 5% of the total mass of the observable universe. That means everything we can see and observe from here on Earth is merely a tiny fraction of reality. The rest takes up an unknown space that has become among the biggest mysteries of the universe. And as scientists continue to peer into the universe with the most advanced technological tools, such as the Hubble Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, we're understanding more that the darkness we see up in space isn't empty at all. This mysterious, invisible stuff that surrounds us all consists of dark matter and dark energy. These two, however, are not the same. Dark matter works like an attractive force, more like the cosmic cement or invisible glue that holds our universe together, slowing the expansion of the universe in the process, while dark energy is its opposite, driving the universe's never-ending and fast-accelerating expansion. How different are these two concepts? Dark matter. The earliest hypotheses of anything relating to dark matter came as early as 1884, when a talk was given by Lord Kelvin who estimated the number of dark bodies located within the Milky Way. He observed the velocity dispersion of the stars orbiting around the center of the galaxy, and using these measurements, he was able to estimate the mass of the Milky Way galaxy. He concluded that of the many of our supposed thousand million stars, perhaps a great majority of them may be dark bodies. In 1922, Dutch astronomer Jacobus Kaptein suggested the existence of dark matter using stellar velocities. In the 1930s, Swiss-born astrophysicist Fritz Zwicky studied images of roughly 1,000 galaxies that make up the Coma Cluster, 321 million light-years away. As he observed the large cluster of galaxies, he noticed an anomaly about the behavior of the galaxies within it. By estimating its mass based on the motions of galaxies near its edge, and comparing it with past data, he surmised that the cluster had about 400 times more mass than was visually observable. He also noticed that the galaxies were moving so fast that they should simply fly apart from each other. The gravity effect of the visible galaxies was far too small for such fast orbits, therefore mass must be hidden from view. This led him to the hypothesis that some kind of dark matter may have been holding them together. Decades later, astronomers Vera Rubin and Kent Ford provided strong evidence of dark matter in their studies conducted in the 1960s and 70s, which focused on galaxy rotation curves. By studying the rotation rates of individual galaxies, the scientists noticed that the stars on a galaxy's outskirts orbit just as fast, or even faster than stars closer to the center, instead of the presumption that the star should have been circling slower because they were much farther. Vera Rubin was once interviewed by Discover, in which she remarked when asked about their findings, even stars at their periphery are orbiting at high velocities. There has to be a lot of mass to make the stars orbit so rapidly, but we can't see it. We call this invisible mass dark matter. This dark matter consists of the unseen particles that bind our universe and even our own bodies together. Many of Rubin and Ford's findings have become greatly influential to the understanding of dark matter where their research showed most galaxies must contain about six times as much dark matter as visible mass, leading to the realization of the apparent need for dark matter to be widely recognized as a major unsolved mystery in astronomy. There are many lines of evidence that suggest dark matter is more than real and that it greatly impacts our universe's birth and evolution. Without it, we wouldn't be here. Now, dark matter isn't simply dark. It's more like invisible, Light of all types seem to pass through as though it's completely transparent. Dark matter cannot be photographed, 
making it absolutely hard to observe and measure. Astronomers are also unable to see dark matter through a telescope, but they can locate dark matter by its gravitational effects on its surroundings and the detectable X-rays they emit. Researchers use a cosmic effect called gravitational lensing to detect and map dark matter by measuring how much gravitational differentials there are in a galaxy's proximity. And while definitive proof that dark matter exists, physicists all over the world have employed increasingly high-tech instruments to try and detect dark matter for decades. But so far, they've found no signs of it. Dark energy. While dark matter is thought of as the invisible form of matter that is holding the universe together, dark energy, on the other hand, is thought of as pushing it all apart. For almost a century, astronomers who study the heavens have known that our universe is constantly in rapid motion and that it is expanding. Telescopic observations have shown that most galaxies are moving away from each other, implying that these galaxies may have been close together in the distant past. This realization led to the Big Bang Theory, which has currently remained in the general scientific understanding. However, astronomers back then assumed that the combined gravitational pull of all the cosmos's stars and galaxies should be showing the universe's expansion. This was all thrown out back in the late 1990s, when astronomers observed a rather insightful mystery. As they were studying supernovas in the furthest galaxies discovered, researchers noticed that the distant galaxies were moving away from us much faster than the nearby galaxies. This led to the realization that the universe wasn't just expanding, the expansion was actually speeding up. This acceleration implies some unknown force is in fact counteracting gravity to make the universe expand at this greater rate. This mysterious force is called dark energy. The researchers were further able to set the premise of this discovery by using thousands of galaxies to map sound waves called Baryon Acoustic Oscillations, or BAO, which was produced when the universe was young, which also stretches as the universe expands. By analyzing the fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, or CMB, they were also able to measure that dark energy contributes to about 68% of the total energy content of the universe. This was later modified to represent that dark energy makes up to 72% of the total mass energy density of the known universe. This has led scientists to believe that dark energy is the force responsible for the acceleration of the expansion of the universe at an ever-increasing rate since the Big Bang. Well, before these findings, dark energy was also originally predicted as a cosmological constant throughout our universe by Albert Einstein. His premise was that this energy is a vacuum energy of empty space, keeping the universe static rather than contracting or expanding. He predicted this based on his field equations of the general theory of relativity. This provided a way of balancing the gravitational contraction caused by matter. But once it was observed that the universe was indeed expanding, Einstein quickly recanted his notion of this cosmological constant. There are currently plenty of ongoing programs aimed at further discovering more about dark matter and dark energy with some focused on actually finding physical evidence of dark matter by smashing atoms in the Large Hadron Collider, while other studies on dark energy are focused on the possibility of tapping into it to usher in a whole new source of energy that can usher in a new age of human spaceflight. A paper published in 2008 proposes a dark energy-powered spacecraft that may have the ability to travel faster than the speed of light. It would travel through time by staying in place, while space-time around it would shift rapidly. But while these concepts may seem like something out of a science fiction movie, the possibility of developing new technologies that may provide further learning and understanding on dark matter and dark energy is currently the new scientific race. In so doing, we may unlock the mysteries of the very concepts that have molded our universe. So what do you think about dark energy and dark matter? Let us know in the comments below. Space Infinity will continue to deliver the latest news on the vast oceans of space and all its new discoveries. So tap that like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.